Hi guys, welcome back. Getting ready to do a August, what day is today? 15th. This is going to be for August 15th through the 17th. That's funny, you guys. I literally just got a text from somebody who I haven't heard from in a long time, and I was feeling very weird about it um, last couple of days, and they just asked to hang out. Um, okay, anyways, go back to this reading, you guys. I am doing this energy reading for Collective right now. Because of this full moon in Aquarius, what are we bringing in? I felt this waking up today, I was like, man, we have a lot to be thankful and grateful for. There's so much in our lives, yet we focus on the things we don't have and the have-nots and all the things that are going wrong. And just as I'm doing a reading for myself, I was I saw the Eight of Wands. You see how I did that? The Eight of Wands, a message coming in. See, I'm going to upload this video just so you guys can see. My cards really mean serious, serious business. They are true, and then I got a message. See, this was out, then I got the message, and this is saying message coming in. All right, <clears throat> but this is um, collective, okay? My cards never lie. They're some, they sometimes don't give the prettiest messages. But they definitely give the truth. All right, spirit guys, angels, archangels, what's coming for us? Energy reading for whoever I'm thinking of. For those included, money, money, money. Okay. All right, let me see what else. Okay. Let's see what's coming forward. Ace, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, the Empress. Wheel of Fortune, Two of Swords, and the Fool. That is at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what the outcome is. Let's see, man, whoever it is I'm reading for right now, the moon. We just had this full moon in Aquarius. And this comes with the Nine of Pentacles, okay? We have the Fool and the Nine of Pentacles here. Let's see. Give me a second. What is this King of Pentacles that I need to know about? Could be a new job opportunity. This is saying this is a new opportunity, a new door is being opened. Fast changes coming in. Things are no longer delayed. Um, ooh, no longer delayed for sure. Seven of Cups, Strength with the Three of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Four of Cups, Strength again, the High Priest, and what is this moon? <clears throat> King of Cups again. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so right away I can see that um, the focus of this reading does not just involve one person. This is like a collaboration. I'm feeling it has something to do with maybe three to five people. You could be getting into a new business. You guys can expect a new business venture. Yeah, some kind of collaboration in all efforts. Um, all contributions here are needed in order to take out a certain plan, in order for something to happen. So, let me see. I didn't clarify this. You have Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Fast changes, new beginnings. Wow, this is awesome. 
whatever that it, you guys are waiting on right now, whoever it is I'm picking up and you're watching, if I'm, and later I'll read the signs for those signs that I see in this reading. If you be, if you're, if you happen to be one of these signs that I mentioned, which I think everybody here is included, just take what resonates from this reading and leave out the rest. But this is gonna affect us in different areas of our life, but I know for a fact my angels wouldn't be giving me this message if it doesn't also have something to do with you right now, the viewer watching. Um, you might be like, oh no, not me, this, is, this isn't this is my reading, but trust me, this may play out in maybe five to seven days, okay, or sometime in maybe four to seven weeks. Just come back to this reading when something triggers an emotion, you're like, wait, Whatever that girl said in that reading, something sounds very familiar, then come back to this reading and watch it again. That's when this stuff is playing out in your life. But I'm getting that this ener these energies, since I'm doing it for the full moon in Aquarius, this is already what's happening right now, whether you know it or not. What is this Ace of Pentacles in the Eight of Wands? This is a powerful new beginning that is not delayed. There's, you know, it's just coming in, it's rolling in, it's flying in. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, I saw that Eight of Wands, and it's something about a message, and it literally came in, uh, I got a message right when I started this video. That's pretty cool. See? Alright. <clears throat> Page of Cups, see? The message is something to do with an offer. The emotional offer, love offer, <clears throat> someone you know. All right, so um, they're asking me to check up on something real quick. All right. Yeah, this is definitely a very exciting gift that's on the way, on its way to you guys. Okay. Um. I feel like this is something to do with money. Easy handful of cash is often um, the case. It could be a message, something you could smell, touch, or feel. Ace of Pentacles and Earth sign. But watch out for these signs because if you have a problem in your life right now, the solution to that problem may be closer than you think and it's arriving to you guys right now. This is the energies coming in for today. That's awesome, and it's coming in with the Eight of Wands. I love that Eight of Wands. I love that mandala right there. <clears throat> it's literally, um, it's really just saying it's going to be, it's really blessed by the universe. This is like everything, all the qualities being perfectly timed together. That that one specific moment right now is not too far for you. See, the blossom of the mandala opens wide, symbolizing growth of that idea and goals. It points inward in balance of with its petals and the mandala. Everything is in sync and now is the perfect time to push through to the finish line. So don't stop. Whatever it is, the universe is sending you an opportunity to move forward with ease. Pretty much all the cards are on the table and it appears luck is on your side. This is the time for success. Move forward and the message is coming in. Take this offer. I couldn't help but this lady literally is taking the offer. This can be a message from a um, fire, earth, or water sign. Page of Cups is usually the feeling of love. Feeling of emotional satisfaction, um, you know, someone wanting to send love. But the Page of Cups is, you know, new opportunities for love. So I feel like this is a new opportunity you guys are going to get. This could be with someone you know in the past, or this could be someone very new. But this person is coming with loving energy. Okay, Page of Cups, if you can see here, she's like a young little girl. So it's also pretty much saying it's like the kind of love that's never even experienced a heartache. Someone who's, you know, very open for any possibility. Genuine loving energy. To let go of these fears and follow your heart. Uh, 
Okay, this is crazy because in this deck, there's a picture of a koi fish. I remember I just picked up the Page of Cups like yesterday when I was doing a reading and here it's coming today or arriving this week. And that red koi, because you know, um, I'm Asian so we believe in koi as it's, it's very symbolic to good luck and fortune. And red is usually a symbol of intense pure love. And that koi fish was going with the flow, not against the current, it was going downwards. So that was like, it's just swimming very easily. You know, it's going, it blooms, and it's a lucky, it's a really lucky um, sign for love. <clears throat> you have two cards here, three cards here saying luck is on your side. And so don't fear a heartache, just go with the flow. Explore your romantic feelings in whatever way feels natural be kind be sweet and show love to this person because they're coming at you very genuinely or you are offering or extending your cup of love to somebody and it has a genuine honest uh, intention <clears throat> All right, so I want to read to you guys. If I don't catch something else, I just want to read to you guys um, the things that I'm not noticing. But I feel like this is something you need to take it. Whatever it is that's coming to you guys, you need to take it. This is like, you know, some woman holding the Ace of Pentacles. She's offering the coin to you. You could take it. You might wonder if you truly earned it. The woman floats in the clouds and seems to have appeared from out of nowhere. She's a mysterious heir to her, and it feels as though her gift may disappear at any moment. But keep your eyes open. Embrace a new learning opportunity that may be offered to you. Watch for signs, syn synchronicities. The solution to your problem is closer than you think. This is what I'm feeling right now. The greatest gifts are those that teach us to be a stronger person. So this person is not only going to come in your life and just offer some kind of romantic flame or emotional fulfilling satisfaction. This person is like very strong. It's going to make you a stronger person. And that's kind of funny. Because the person that literally texted me is like the person that I was actually with for like 11 years of my life, 12 years of my life, definitely had taught me to be a stronger person for sure. Um, there's an offer that's coming to you guys. The Empress with the Moon is what's crossing. We just had a new moon in Aquarius, full moon in Aquarius, and we have two cards from two different decks that I'm using right now. Something here about this full moon in Aquarius is the reason why it's changing everything. It's bringing in this new love. about it is what I'm getting is I think naturally we're going to want to control this situation because we have um, you know like an offer coming in right and we're going to take it's advising us to take it it's an opportunity being presented to itself right now but this offer also it may appear one way today and completely different tomorrow is kind of what I'm getting because it's coming with a tower but what you don't know behind the tower is this behind a very promising king, King of Pentacles. This person is very loyal. This person offers a lot. This person offers stability, offers home, offers longevity, offers, you know, this is like the husband card.
The King of Pentacles is resourceful, reliable, and steady. He has a lot of experience behind him. He's mastered his craft, and despite his royal status, he's always willing to help others learn the ropes. He's kind and open-hearted. He's determined and unwilling to give up. Slowly and calmly, his dreams become reality, and everything he touches appears to turn to gold. This is the opportunity that's being handed to you guys right now. Wow. So, but what is, and then you have the Empress with the Moon with this offer. So this offer for whoever this reading is for, this is a great, someone's um, prayers is being answered. Or someone's wishing for some kind of stability, um, some kind of new opportunity, some kind of gift. And this is really being blessed by the universe and the door is opening up. And it's like well deserved. This thing is not only going to give you the Ace of Pentacles, it's going to turn you into the Empress. It's like something you will fully love. Um, this is going to be like effortless. <clears throat> this is like you're going to radiate with beauty. You feel blessed with everything. She feels she's blessed with everything she needs and more. She is laying her hand on her pregnant belly, so it's pretty much like, you know, it's like growth, fertility. She's glowing with excitement. She smiles, and her hair blows in the wind, and she breathes in her life's luxuries. Her positive, welcoming energy to this invitation invites a little blue bird to come sit on her shoulder. He reminds her of home, the family that she grew up with. So if you've been blessed with the energy of the Empress, consider how lucky you might be. Remember to allow the love to lead your path and to move forward with compassion. You have an incredible amount of love, wealth, and abundance surrounding you. Don't take it for granted. You may actually feel this way. You want to back out because here, why it's all happening is strength, the three of swords, and strength again. <clears throat> Wow, this is like a double message of strength telling you guys to, uh, with the Three of Swords, I, I believe this is exactly why strength is in question and strength is in order. You know, this is not an easy task. This is something you have to, it's going against all odds, going against your will, and you know, having to take control of yourself when everything feels stacked against you. It's like pushing you through everything even though you hate every second of it so strength is actually not something we're doing with physical strength to me strength is more of a, often a quiet it's very internal as you can see in this deck her eyes are closed she's in quiet meditation but she's wearing a lion's head See, it's like saying, has she already defeated this lion? Or is she currently willing him to not bite her down? Either way, she's still in control of the situation with very little physical force. She's not panicking. She's not scared. She's confident. This green and, this green and blue is feeling like life is not grim, even though her immediate situation may feel very overwhelming. Here we have it again. It's saying rely on yourself. You are the strength that need that you need to push forward right now. Only focus on yourself and your self-growth to help push past the struggles of your immediate situation. Be persistent and do not give in to this three of cups, to this sadness. Because Empress is not sad. She's in full abundance. She's in full grace and beauty. She's in breathing in all of life's luxury. You know, she's a very welcoming her positive welcoming energy invites this even this bird to come sit on her shoulder. So there is this feeling of fear that I'm picking up that this person wants to come enter, but you have to stay within a very welcoming, positive energy so not to scare away this person or this offer that's coming in. Straight to leave behind the past. Not let the past bother you because we have the new beginning here. This is something totally new. Very exciting, and you have the Eight of Cups with the King of Cups. <clears throat> 
I feel like this person feels like this is a wheel of fortune. Okay, I really do feel like the person that's coming to offer you something is intimidated or is scared of you guys. Or this could be in vice versa. If you guys are doing the offering or making an offer to somebody, you may be feeling very afraid to make this offer. But I'm really getting this is what I and mean, how it's coming in. Of course, you know, in these energies, worlds can go reversed. But this is how this reading is coming in. This offer is coming in to you. And the environment is a little bit scared. <clears throat> of you know how to make this offer so pretty much the environment is whoever that's not watching this video right now if you're watching this then it's the other person sometimes you know this person is really much inside their head see someone here feels like they are just See, I got this in Cancer's reading yesterday, the Four of Cups. But in that Four of Cups, it was like, you know, a cloud shedding a tear. And then there was like an offer from above and a red flower to the viewer. But instead of being met with gratitude, the hand was actually offered nothing but tears. It was like selfishly the receiver of that gift sulks and weeps and feels sorry for herself like it was time to drop someone's self-centeredness attitude and open their heart to the new opportunities and stop feeling sorry for themselves and allow themselves to move forward it's time to wake up the universe is not against you it's going for you <clears throat> and i feel like over here it's like somebody here has a wake-up call or needs a wake-up call the only thing that's holding you back from living the life you want is yourself. You're getting that Ten of Pentacles and it comes with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups to the King of Cups here, soulmate pair. This person has real love that's coming in. Person in the environment could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be a Sagittarius, a Virgo, a Scorpio, a Libra, a Leo, a Cancer. But see, seven of pentacles and the seven of cups. Somebody here is really in their heads about something like, okay, is this even going to work out? Um, what does this really all mean? You know, they're very guarded and perhaps possibly jaded. They're very reluctant to maybe even take this offer or, you know, even explore the options. They just are pretty much anticipating for the other shoe to fall off. Which that is no no life no 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 way to live life because this is like a moment of clarity and calm. Maybe we're working on many different projects right now, so somebody should just go inside and really enjoy in a moment themselves in this quiet feeling of accomplishment. Cause something of hard work is being paid off. Cause someone's wondering if hard work's been paid off. <clears throat> It's like, this card is like, despite harsh conditions, a strong, fruitful plant has grown. Seven plump pinnacles glow in the foreground and man a glance of appreciation. Many months of hard work and dedication from the farmer are in indeed to thank for the successful harvest. So you've tended to this garden, it's growing beautiful. What comes next is up to you. Regardless of your next move, the hard work you must put in in the past will help you grow and prosper for the future. Take a moment or two to consider the methods in which you've achieved this goal. There is so much to be learned from a successful harvest. As you look back on what you did today, or what you've done in the past, take notes and think of what, everything you've done and the lessons that came with it and the lessons you've learned. This a mirror is someone's really pondering. Seven of Cups. And angels are really speaking to us today and letting us like appreciate what we have and stay centered in our gratitude. And that's funny because this card literally came out. <clears throat> we have a lot to be thankful for coming up. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
This is also telling us to choose wisely <clears throat> when temptations arise and to recognize the difference between fantasy and reality. We have many options available to us. The choice we make today will lead us to becoming our future selves. She's adorned with gold, jewels, and feathers, lavish items of luxury. Behind her is a structure of a strong, stable column which emerges. The building is a noble destination if you can maintain your focus and pass by without distraction. As she dances, her eyes draw you in closer. With the dreamy, cloudy landscape, a tempestress rises from her copper cup. Take control of your endless pursuit for pleasure. Pull yourself down from the clouds and find a way to plant your feet on the ground again. Life is deeper, more meaningful than you are allowing it to be. Respect yourself and do what you know is right. You have many options available and the choices you make today is going to be the consequences for tomorrow. Her veil and the snake around her arm suggest that, however, she may not be up to any good. See, for me, what does, hey Siri, what is the meaning of 7-7? Seven, seven? Okay, I found this on the web for hey. Hey Siri, what is the meaning for 7-7? Seven, seven? Okay, I found this on the web for Hey Siri, what is the meaning 477? Check it out. Hold on one second, you guys. I don't know why the number 77 is calling to me right now. I want to give you guys the right information. Um, okay, here we go. Indicates you're being congratulated and your efforts have been well noted and the angelic and spiritual realms are right behind you. You are on the right life path and are living and serving your divine life purpose as guided. Due to your efforts, discernment, and good choices, your just rewards are on the way to your life. Keep up the great work. And listen, you have listened to your guidance and now are putting that wisdom to work in your day-to-day -day life. Your desires and wishes are coming to fruition in your life as a result of your actions and positive attitude and the time has come to re reap the rewards for your diligence and determined efforts you're now being commended by the angels as your successes are inspiring and uplifting you're helping and teaching others by being a positive example for others to follow well i'm definitely putting up this reading <clears throat> this is exactly what it is it's coming in for you guys you see this seven seven it was really telling me to look this number up all right <clears throat> so all of this I'm seeing two of swords here, an agreement, compromise, wow, a lot of synchronicities in this reading, two and two. Let's see what 224 is, because that's kind of what I saw. All right, because this is what happened in the past. Someone was juggling between a decision. Um, this is definitely, they're not sure if they want to work on this thing or not. You know, it's pretty much someone literally knew that they have a lot of work ahead. And they weren't sure if they had all they needed, that they had all that they need or want to, in order to complete or achieve some kind of personal fulfillment. Excuse me. This kind of says your goals are worth working for. Wow, so from the past... It was a sign that they're sending you some positive energies to boost your self-belief, confidence, and self-esteem. The work, will, and effort you did in the past has led to solid foundations and stability for here. Know that it's coming towards you. Stop and feel grateful, grateful for all that you have in your life and appreciate and accept the countless blessings yet to come. And boom, it comes in today. Or it comes in right now. That was actually the meaning of 224, and it literally is coming in today with the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. 
in this Eight of Wands into the present moment. Wow, this is such an exciting message. Synchronistic. <clears throat> and yes, this is least expected with the Tower card here. King of Pentacles. Someone here is coming with a great offer. It's an offer for a new beginning. But somebody here has, you know, to let go. The Eight of Cups here, walking away. <clears throat> it's like okay for how you guys should be feeling here for how you be seeing yourself it was like a time to be start searching for more periods of stagnation and boredom sneaks up on you leaving us probably feeling depressed and confused. This is an incredible value in recognizing when it's time to leave the past behind and begin a new journey. Holy crap, this is exactly what's coming with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so the angels and spirit guides are urging us to start a new beginning right now, new doors opening, but are we going to be able to see it? Okay, some may actually miss out on this opportunity, but it's really saying, you know, with the high priest... Um, also the card, the Hierophant, this is like saying this is divine intervention, the divine really offering something right now to us. <clears throat> the Hierophant is never held back by closed-minded thinking. He holds the keys to the, he holds the key to life in the universe. He's worked hard to earn that honor of holding them. He stands tall and proud. He represents the movement of the sun and the passing of the days, growth, development, and the metamorphosis we can achieve through higher learning and self-development. Embrace this learning. Become rigorous in your studies and consistent in your practices. Spread your wings and grow. He's respectful of traditions and will typically honor the old ways of doing things, but he's also committed to self-improvement, furthering his education, private meditation, and devotion to his group primarily this is okay but what i'm seeing here with the two of swords this is like someone unwilling to see what's being offered to them they don't even know if they're going to take this offer it's about indecision stagnation and fear of moving forward moments in our life when we purposely blind ourselves to our life situation and refuse to acknowledge that a change must be made I see us in the outcome actually doing it with the moon here. With the moon here, this is saying we're actually going to do it. Whatever it is, you have a lot of abundance coming to you guys, King of Cups. This is whatever you wish for. Uh, King of Cups is like emotional satisfaction. Restrained in complete control of himself. He does not let his feelings get the better of him. He has a tender heart. He's compassionate and sympathetic. However, he's very diplomatic and strong when he needs to be. Despite his serious and focused demeanor, the king's love and compassion will shine through in his decision making. <clears throat> now is the time when you should practice emotional control. Open your heart and show compassion to those around you. But don't let your feelings sway you from maintaining a healthy balance in life. A heart hovers above holding the king's crown. <clears throat> this is actually a king of like abundance. A king of um love. Confidence through success, security through accumulated wisdom, and respect gained from, other, from others. He is especially profound in professional or business field, in the business field. This person can be a very compassionate healer or a physician. Scientific work is also indicated as well as interest in the creative arts. Such a person is responsible and liberal, but also protective and kind. This card represents a business lunch with someone senior where helpful information may be gathered. A social invitation with a business partner may not be someone that is so inclined to accept, but the energy suggests that it is in your own best interest to attend. 
There's an opportunity for gaining face time with higher ups, networking, making contacts, and gathering useful information. The caution is to not overindulge during this gathering so as to be able to take best advantage of one's time for self-improvement. This is a very powerful message. This is crazy because this is actually what I'll be actually doing this week too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Arts and the sciences, professional, reliable, counselor, considerate, giving advice, loyalty, commitment to others, business related, social invitation, and also luck. Comes with full abundance. Look at this, so much to eat. He's like full belly already. But it comes during this lunar the cycles of the moon. It's definitely right here. We're in full moon period. I feel like if you guys don't see this coming in, this is suggesting it's going to come in during these last few phases for you. Watch out for these signs. Okay, guys? Awesome, awesome reading. I'm so excited. Make sure you guys take this offer. I know I'm going to definitely take it. Alright, last message. What is our affirmation card? And we're going to end this video here. Thank you. Worthiness. I feel worthy and have very special talents that will help me to achieve my dreams. Yes, you do, you guys. All right, guys. Uh, feel motivated. Don't let these energies, heavy energies, um, weigh you guys down. Stay motivated. Help people stay motivated. Improve your finances because I feel like there's a lot of financial abundance. New love is on the way. New golden opportunities here. People are wanting to reach out to you guys. Don't overlook anything. Alright, bye guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for your time.